Hi friends, it is a beautiful spring day out and so we are going to be decorating inside and outside to celebrate. I can't wait for summer because I am sick again. So if I sound funny in the video, that's why. But the show must go on. So first we are going to decorate indoors. Uh, we're going to focus on this giant green shelf that we're going to decorate for spring and summer and then we're going to decorate outside. The outdoor portion is going to be sponsored by Olney, which I will talk more about them later in the video. I really want to focus on my green shelf today, which is in my dining room. You might actually know me for this shelf. I got a huge portion of my followers because of this. Um, I decorated this during COVID in a rainbow theme. Um, and then I was featured in Country Living for it. And because that happened, that was super exciting, but also it put a lot of pressure on me um, whenever I would decorate this shelf, I'd always be like, oh my gosh, like it has to be better than when I decorated it the first time. And I've done a few different iterations of this. I did a cute vintage rainbow collection, and then I also did a rainbow tin theme, which I will link to a blog post which shows my first rainbow that I did, and then the second rainbow tin one, I have that featured in my living room tour video, which is from a few years ago. So I will link to that below. But this year, I don't really want to do the rainbow theme. I really just want to go with a colorful, what makes me happy theme, which is basically not really even a theme at all. And that's the point. Um, whenever I would do the rainbow theme, I would be such a perfectionist and it would like stress me out way more than it would make me happy, which that's the whole point of decorating is it's supposed to be fun. Now, this thrifted green shelf that I have is also in the dining room, and I just threw decorations up here, like no rhyme or reason, and I love like just how it turned out. It's not perfect at all. It's completely random, but everything on here I love, and it took me like five minutes to do, and so I know that one's going to take a lot longer, but I did this as a practice, and it's just so nice when you just throw things up there and see what happens and so we're gonna try doing that together with my other shelf do you tend to be like really perfectionistic with how you decorate or are you just very go with the flow have fun let me know in the comments i've got a bunch of vintage decorations here that all make me really happy so we're gonna throw them up here i now live in a rental house and it is a lot smaller than the place that i came from before and this house is from the 1800s and does not have a lot of storage and so i'm trying to prioritize really cute storage and i got these at the thrift store i think they're vintage and they're really cute little boxes and i'm not sure what i'm going to use them for right now but i know i will need them and so i'm going to put them on the lower level even though i don't have anything put in them yet i'll have them ready to go whenever i figure out what i want to use them for when I originally bought this bookcase for $25 at an antique store, oh, and this is the original color. I get asked that all the time, like what color I painted it. I bought it this way, so I'm not sure what color it is. But I bought it because I wanted to use it like as like a library bookshelf. And when I brought it home, I quickly realized that almost all the shelves cannot hold regular books. There's like a few bows in the shelf that a book can fit but like no normal sized books do not fit at all but the books that i do have that are cute um like this one is a new book for pride and prejudice and then i have like some gardening books that are new that are still really cute i'll use those to decorate with but i'll just put them sideways and then the books that aren't very cute like my self-help books and my finance books i keep in an end table but i've got a bunch of cute vintage books that i will decorate with and the ones that are smaller, I started collecting like really teeny tiny books so that I can decorate with those and fit them on here. Okay, I'm gonna start throwing things up there and see what happens. to keep more fragile things up top and then the lower levels are hardier things that are like made of plastic and tin yeah you're the reason why this little girl along with her sister uh, are very frisky kitties aren't you 
and they like to be uh, very nosy and run into everything. Hi. Who's a good kitty? And so things like this, if they run into like vintage plastic items, I really don't care. And if it gets knocked off, it's totally fine. This I just got. Uh, it's a vintage jello mold. And I just found it in my most recent thrifting video. So this goes on the lower shelves. Some of these things I've had for forever. And some of these things are very recent. Um, so like these super cool, colorful books on religion. They're from the 60s. And I'm a part of a craft group that takes place at a used bookstore which is awesome because I love crafting, but then it also gives me an excuse to like go every month to see what new books are in the used bookstore. And these were in the bargain section. They were only 50 cents a piece. And I love how colorful they are. And then these are new. These are from Target. Um, they have them every Valentine's Day, these cute little kitschy birds. And a few other new things are like this uh, pink love potion. Uh, I got this at Universal Studios in Harry Potter World. So I think it looks really vintage, um, but it's a nice travel souvenir and I get to decorate with it. And then this is a coffee tin from a local coffee shop. Vintage gnomes are like a part of their branding. It's my favorite coffee shop for that reason. And they just released this coffee tin um, and it is so cute. I almost exclusively decorate with vintage tins, um, but this is an exception. Okay, let's keep throwing things up. Well, so far I'm pretty happy with it. I just thrifted these yesterday, in fact. Um, they are so cute, these little fruity mugs. I don't know what they were for, like it makes me think that maybe you would put sherbet in it, but either way, they're adorable. Next up, I'm gonna put out my new collection that I have not decorated with yet. So I found all of these It's a Small World Avon bottles. I found these at a flea market, was it last summer or two summers ago? But I will link to the video where I found them. I remember I found a bunch of great stuff at that flea market. Now, the question is, do I decorate with the box? Do I decorate with the actual perfume bottles? Or do I decorate with both? But yeah, there's a bunch of them and they're so cute. They're smaller ones too. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna intersperse them throughout. And we'll see how that goes. Also, I have these really cute flower power daisy records, but when I put them way in the back, you can barely even see them and they're like covered by a shadow. So what I do is I've been saving these strawberry containers and then I will put those in the back because they're clear. And then I put the record up and then you don't even notice that the record is way more up front and you can notice it a lot more. Okay, let's keep going. have it the finished shelf i think that it's a small world bottles were just the chef's kiss that needed to happen i love that there's the collection all over the place i did use the boxes and the bottles at the same time which i think is really fun i did have one like this one is a cowgirl but then there was a different bottle inside but otherwise most of them match and i think it looks so cute so i will have these decorations up until halloween i keep my spring and summer decorations the same and then I don't have to decorate all summer long and I can be outside doing lots of activities. So what do you think? Do you like the random assortment of absolutely everything that makes me happy uh, or do you prefer the more put together rainbow type of look? Let me know in the comments.
And now it is time to decorate outdoors with some new lights from Olney. I've worked with Olney before. Uh, I hung up their lights for Christmas um, and my plan was to keep them up through the winter and I love them so much. I am going to keep them year round. There's something so magical about the lights happening like during a movie night. So those were a win. I'm so happy that they're up and now I'm going to put some outside. Now this is a huge 120 foot strand of lights that are waterproof and meant to be outdoors and so they're going right in my backyard i'm going to stretch them over that little yard space and then that is where i have my raised garden bed that i'm hoping to be using as well and so i'm going to have it all lit up because i wanted the lights to stretch way far out into the backyard i quickly realized that it was a two-person job and thankfully once again my sweet boyfriend joshua offered his time and his height to help me hang the lights up i did use some heavy duty hooks which i will link below they work indoors and outdoors and they're awesome i've had lights like these before and the bulbs were made of glass which i honestly hated when you're hanging lights outside it's so easy to drop them and they'll hit the pavement and break but these lights aren't made of glass and they're super durable and i know they're durable because i dropped them multiple times and not one of them broke they're also really weatherproof and very hardy because since i filmed this video we had 55 mile per hour winds and the lights stayed up and they're still working here is the finished product i am so happy with how it turned out i was able to connect the lights to my patio which has vintage blow mold lights up already and if you want to see how those look you can watch my patio video so all I have to do is flip a switch and all the lights turn on at once. Now I'll have the most beautiful porch to sit on and enjoy at night. And I can see my, hopefully, beautiful garden bed that will be filled with flowers. I will have the lights linked below. And if you use code PT15, you will get 15% off your order. Thank you so much to Only for sponsoring this video. Also, speaking of gardening, uh, I actually have succeeded in planting seeds for the very first time. They're in those little strawberry containers. I planted herbs. Um, I got them from Dollar Tree and there are teeny tiny sprouts. And so my gardening dream is starting off pretty well. My hopes are very low, but I'm super excited. And thank you to everybody who gave me tons of gardening suggestions. I really appreciate it. So now that summer is on the way, I was wondering if you guys could leave me your suggestions in the comments for what type of videos you're hoping to see from me. In the summer, typically I do lots of flea market videos. Um, I could also see if I could do maybe a garage sailing video. I could do more decorating videos like this. I could do vlog type of videos. Also, I could do rental house updates. I have done some changes in the rental house and I just haven't gotten around to filming them. So if you could let me know in the comments what you would like to see from me, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope you have a wonderful spring. Bye!